Hello, I'm Kev at Rimmer's Music. I'm going to show you this used Echo Modelo today. So it's second hand, as I've said. It's a folk auditorium size. So it's still full size, but at the smaller end of full size. So ideal for taking away on holiday with you. Uh, for those with a small frame, ideal for those beginning. Because for an entry level guitar, it feels really good, really well made, and it's got a great resonance and sustain. You can really feel the wood uh, vibrating in your arm when you're playing against your body. We've got this lovely flame maple back arched. Absolutely stunning. So flame maple back and sides spruce top, maple neck and a rosewood fretboard. It's in fair to good condition. The main defect really is the scratch plate is just coming away there. Looks like it's slightly warped over time. The wood's absolutely fine. It's just this bit of plastic on the uh, scratch plate here. But it is solid. It would only come off if you really surprised it off. So it's absolutely fine. Nothing to worry about few little tiny specks of paint, the very small though. But like I say, it's, it's in good condition. For a guitar of its age, I found it very hard to uh, date this guitar. I think in its late 60s, early 70s. So for a guitar of its age, it puts Echo in good stead. As I said, it feels really, really well made. Every Echo guitar I've ever held and played the first thing that strikes me about them is just how really well put together they are. You've got a strap button there as well. <coughs> the next bolted on. So I will play you a little bit so you can see how good it sounds. So we've just done a bit of kind of picking. So I'll do some open chord strumming for you. All right. <laughs> Such a lovely sound. So there you go, the Echo Modelo. I've personally restrung this. I've tightened up the truss rod. It's got the Dario 11 to 52s on. There is one tuning peg just on the uh, bottom either that's just different to the rest. With its age, we don't have any of these and I couldn't find any. So yeah, there's the odd little thing here and there, like I said, the specs of paint, the scratch plate, all reflect, re reflected in the price. 
head over to uh, our website and click the link in the bio to this video if you're watching on YouTube. Add to basket and this will be yours. So thanks a lot for listening and I'll see you again very soon. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Cheers.